Hey everybody, tap tap here, and I kind of wanted to show off Star Ocean, but the, the Star Ocean mobile game here. Um, I got started because there was this event going on, and I kind of re-rolled for the, the new event characters. I got pretty lucky with that. I mean, I had to re-roll like four times, but... It's good to have friends. Not too bad considering the odds in a lot of these things. Uh, let me show my party here. I tried to do a stream of this, but Mediacom ruined it, and Mediacom ruined my Sunday streams today, so... Uh, I'm, I'm kind of examining what I can do about that, but uh, for now, I just figured I'll focus on uploads and do some other stuff. Uh, this isn't what I meant to do. Uh, how do I see just a list of all my characters? I'm, I'm more used to- oh, I think you go to edit. I'm used to, um, the way Mekai Wars does it. Every game, obviously, does it a little bit different. Yeah, so I got a pretty good set of five stars, I think. I only really use, um, Summer Muria here. Uh, Summer Miki is okay. I don't know who this dude is, but I got him, I got this dude. I think I got one other five star. I got- I got- I don't know who that is. I don't- I don't- I should say early on, I don't- I never played Star Ocean. Um, I don't really know a lot of the characters, and I think for a Gashapon game, it's actually kind of a relief. Because, like, there's nobody- I'm like, oh no, I'll die if I don't get X. I just kind of wanted the, the event things, and I just kind of play the game. Um, oh, I hate this bear. I thought I turned the bear off. The bear is, like... Omochao on steroids, and I mean even with- he even has swole arms, I'm not even kidding, it's disturbing. I thought I turned him off though. I'm streaming this for my Chromecast, so it might look like crap. I'm sorry, it- it looks- it, it's messed up on emulator because it's um, the colors go wrong, and I don't know why, and I couldn't correct it. So that kind of plagued the stream until I, you know, had to kill the stream because I was doing things. I, why does that voice keep coming back on? I don't like- Blech. Yeah, the bear. You can at least turn on his, his voice, but uh, he's disturbing. But yeah, there's this summer event going on, and I kind of wanted to show a little video of me beating that misery to the, the super hard mode thing from it. I've already beat it several times with, you know, in the multiplayer. I got my character pretty good. Let me show my main character here. Um, it is a captain's duty to look out for the... It is the captain's out. duty. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, that's, that's a way to pronounce things. Um, here's... wait, how do I... no. Yeah, Summer Muria here. Um, she's... like, awakened plus five is what that little five thing means. She's ascended or whatever to, to six. Basically, she's, she's pretty good. That's... <laughs> she's got lots of stuff that makes her good. And there's like these little HP... you can like add these items that add total HP and stuff. I've got a bunch of those on her. Um, it's pretty good in terms of grinding. One of the neat things is that it's, yeah, it's got the stamina system that all these games do, but it also lets you join other people's games in multiplayer, and it doesn't cost stamina to do that, which I was, like, flabbergasted when I saw that, because you can, this is, like, the first, like, one of these Gashapon games I've seen that you can basically play as much as you want. Uh, you have to join other people's things, so, I mean, you're semi-limited to what other people are playing, but with this Misery 2 thing, this is, like, the super hard thing that has the best rewards for the event, uh, oh wait, not create. Um, there's always going to be people playing it, so you can always enjoy it. And you can also just join any event that's going on. You can join, um, you can join people in any story mode mission on a certain planet. So it's pretty easy to find a lobby, uh, especially if you're not too picky, like I'm usually not. I mean, I I just started the game, so I can use basically everything that's in the game. Now, now is the moment of truth. I don't know how bad this is going to look in gameplay, because I'm doing Chromecast, and it's also going to be kind of, um, yeah. You can also send these little stamps. You can be like, send the things. There's also exclusive stamps with the events, so I'm pretty excited to get, uh, Get this. I have to make sure I turn off auto. I think this game has an auto mode and a manual mode, and so auto mode works for like the basic grinding stuff, but you really don't want it for, for the big bosses. And I honestly think the first two stages for the boss modes they're like so crazy easy. I think they're just kind of an opportunity for you to realize, oh crap, I left on auto mode. I'll turn that off. Um, yeah, I guess it also lets you get a moment. You know, I turn that off. There we go. It might drop some frames and stuff. Because, yeah, I'm doing Chromecast. And this is a very intensive game. <laughs> like I got knocked into the sky. I don't know, I'm not familiar with everybody's skills in the game. I'm mostly familiar with this character. Um, but she's got pretty good. I like this long range combo. Surprise battle. What is surprise battle? 
Is this when you get- sometimes you get like random extra drops. And maybe that- maybe surprise battle is why. I, I don't fully- I started playing this like a week ago. And I've been rushing because this event is uh, going on. I'm also testing a live stream. Like, I can stream to an unlisted thing just to test if my stream stuff is working. And who, who's spamming that stuff in the sky? I guess that's a blue dude? I've never seen that guy. I just don't, I don't remember seeing him. Um, did you just pun at me? Um, what was I trying to say? Yeah, but my test stream is working flawlessly now, which is great because, like, I canceled a stream just a couple hours ago because it was going complete dog crap. So it's like, I just can never protect, predict when I can stream. Anyway, this is the actually hard one. I don't even know why they bother with the stupid easy things. So yeah, it's kind of dropping a lot of frames, sorry. I kind of expected it would be like that, but this is going through Chromecast, which basically means my phone is playing this game, which is pretty intensive already. Uh, it's not the newest phone, it's a Nexus 5X. And it also has to live stream, well not, well, yeah, stream the uh, video to my, um, to my HDMI. Wow, these guys are strong, that's... I mean, I guess I'm, my character is better too, but that gold border around the host, that means they've ascended to plus 10, which basically means they're like... You get like plus 11 or 12% total stats. Oh, run, 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 run. Ow. Um, oh, why didn't you... So you can do this dash thing. The combat's pretty active. Um, you can move around with the little virtual joystick. And you can also dash, but you need AP to dash. So I kind of ran out. I tend to burn all my AP really fast to try to get this rush. They're not going to appreciate that, but dicking around to show you that, but I want to burst. Yeah, I'll rush here in a second. So rush, you just kind of, you need to spam skills. Oh, <laughs> they didn't even wait for me. I was about to rush, dude. Oh, their HP was critical. Yeah, that's, that's another thing. You can kind of rush to stun the boss if your HP is low. I don't know why healers are so rare in this game, because a healer, I like, really want a healer for this. Because um, healers, well, they heal. And for these long bosses, they can be... Like, the difference between life and death, obviously. And, um... This might hurt a little. Yeah. That's another version of my character, by the way. That's like the normal one. I think she was from Star Ocean 4? 5? I don't... I don't know. By the way, for, for, for Star Ocean fans, can I just start at the latest one? Or is there, like, a specific best one to start with? Because I don't have my PS2 anymore. I think there's one on PS3 and one on PS4. Um... Yeah, I don't know if I should... I don't know if I want to like start a new RPG, that's kind of bad. I probably shouldn't have even started this game. I just have so many games I need to play at all times. Um, ow. Also, it seems kind of neat. The, the events seem to kind of match the character to, um, to the thing. Like, this boss is weak if you lightning, so all of the, the weapons that you get and the characters you get kind of have lightning bonus attacks. So, that's kind of neat. Kind of makes the, the character that you get instantly useful. I've heard that she's really good. Sun on area is really good stat-wise. And, uh, took a long time to release in, uh, Japanese. So, this game was a really... This game was two years old in Japanese and, like, a few months old, I think, in English. And... Let's just rush this thing off. So, this should glare him up. So the way rushes work is that if you do all four characters do a rush, you do uh oh no don't lose connection. What are you doing? Um, okay, it's fine. You basically want to rush and completely clear their HP. You yikes in. We'll be fine. This might hurt a little. There's no, there's no way we lose unless one of us disconnects. I don't know why they're yikes in. See, it's freaking dead. I don't know what they're panicking about. Well, they certainly gave us a hard time. I like the little stamps feature. You can kind of say, like, hey, we should do a rush. We should, um... You can kind of give, like, micro-strategy, like, things. Ooh! We got a lot of... Oh, dang. That's, those were really good drops. I got a cap increase weapon thing, and I got a crap ton of coral, which is, like, the event currency. Everything in my life comes back to Abyssrium and Coral and stuff. This actually doesn't look too bad, I think. I mean, this is dropping frame. I've been watching more on my phone than on the TV, but... I was expecting this to be a disaster and me to, like, not 
bother to upload this almost. Um, so it's not been too bad. But unfortunately for an achievement, I need to beat this like five more times. Uh, six more times, actually. But yeah, let me show you the event shop. I got some of the good stuff already. I didn't know you could get a surprise extra bonus with Coral. That's that's neat. Um, but this game shop, I take it. has been fairly generous. I mean, every mobile game is generous when you first start, right? So I, I'm trying not to judge too much on the first week or so, because the first week is always extra generous with stuff. Should I get that Thunderstroke broadsword? I feel like I should get it, just because there's only one. You can only get one. But the, this... This cool cap increase thing is really good, but I'll get more coins. I'll get more coins. Uh, I don't use anybody with a broadsword yet, but I'll get it later. And there's also this coral shop. So the the beating the the M, the misery too, the the ultra hard boss thing gives you these extra tokens, and then there's like basic tokens that get you the less good stuff. But there's good stuff in both shops. And, um, I, by the way, I started this week, and I can already get to the Misery 2 thing. Um, only in multiplayer, of course. But the way the multiplayer works, it's surprisingly generous. I, I've honestly never seen a mobile game that's so willing to let you just play repeatedly and actually enjoy the game. And you can benefit from Wales teams, basically. Uh, speaking of that, let me show you what happens when you play single player. Um, multiplayer does say it's in beta, but it seems to be a pretty major feature of the game. So I don't think it's going to, like... They're gonna like make it less generous in the future. I mean, maybe, but I don't. Oh, I just lost signal. <laughs> Stupid. What the heck? Chromecast, please. I've had this. I had this issue a little bit with my Chromecast when I was streaming um, Pokemon Quest. Some games. Oh, come on, come on, Chromecast. What are you doing? I'm still casting. Oh, disconnected. Sorry. Let me reconnect. I did this a couple times when I was streaming um, Pokemon Quest, which I kind of beat that. I kind of, I never, I still never got a shiny. Somebody lied to me and told me that the shiny rate was like super increased in that game. I've summoned like 500 Pokemon. I never got a single, single shiny. All right, it should be starting up the cast, I, I think. I'm still not used to this Chromecast thing, and I think it's just because like I play really. You're not really supposed to use Chromecast for games. It's more for like Netflix and crap. Um, so like my phone is doing a lot of stuff. I really need a better phone. It's kind of a shame. I I like these mid-range phones like the Nexus 5. I don't like to spend more than 500 bucks on a phone. Uh, I'm kind of con considering a Pixel 2. It's not... Let me reconnect here. I've been considering a Pixel 2. And I mean the, the price is not too much crazy beyond what I would usually pay. There we go. It's not too crazy beyond... Oh hey, let me show you the uh, event. So the event thing is just kind of a silly, quick little side story, and you just go into this undersea kingdom and you help this fluffy beast thing, uh, not making this up, and you, you fight a mermaid, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and then there's these little side things, and they're actually kind of funny. Um, there's another beach thing coming up, like next week, there's going to be another event thing. So I'll just let you read the thing as I blab. Um... <laughs> But yeah, there's another event thing next week with two more summer characters, and I don't know, I, I don't know who the characters are, so I, I don't know who is who, like, one is, like, Sophie or something, and, um, I'm gonna check, I'll check it out, and I'll, I'll hope, I've been saving the gems so I can do the pulls and stuff for limited banners, it's kind of how you should do it in any of these games, just save up for the limited banners, and then the normal characters not in limited banners, you'll just get on accident while trying to pull for the, uh, thing. I love the space sunscreen, by the way. It's sunscreen, but you gotta have space container. Looks like a test tube. <laughs> of course, the, the, the summer events gotta get a little frisky, right? This, the screen loves, this game loves the screen shake thing, by the way. Um, yeah, I've been pretty impressed with this game. It, it, the, graphically, it looks like a, you know, like a decent enough PS3 game. Uh, which is actually impressive because, like I said, it's two years old. I don't know if they've had graphic updates since, but at least in Japan, two years ago. Um, pretty good stuff. Uh, the combat's pretty fun. It's simple, but, I mean, you kind of need it's simple to an extent in a mobile game, right? Um, the, there's some strategy to battle. You kind of want a healer. You want a defense unit. You want a... Um, 
you want to do the rush. You want to get everybody to charge the rush at once because if four people rush in a row, which you're going to see in that last battle, but um, you get a 300% damage boost to the last rush. Um, basically, they increase in damage as they go on. So you want the weakest person to rush first, which doesn't always happen. But um, since my stats aren't the best, I usually try to rush somewhat early. Um, they have this kind of like... I just noticed the Doki Doki sound in the background. Ah, <laughs> um, oh, Chromecast! Chromecast, please. <laughs> I should have... Um, I was thinking of, like, streaming this from... Um, well, recording this from my... Um, what am I trying to say here? Um, Android emulator. But like I said, the, the, the colors are just really messed up. And I figured I might as well try this. I don't know what keeps disconnecting. It might just be because it's a high CPU usage game. But I'm just watching, like, the VN events. I can't imagine why I'd be disconnecting now. Oh, come on, Chromecast. Like It's like the whole Chromecast turns off. Casting screen to has ended. Oh, just then start again. Does anybody else have this problem with their Chromecast? I don't use it too much. I'm not super impressed. I mean, it was 25 bucks. I'm not, like, super mad. But what I really wish is that I could just plug in an HDMI cable into my phone. Or, like, you know, USB-C out. Um... But yeah, the, the characters have like wave symbols, kind of like uh, the dot hack thing. They get like magic by the, the tattoo fingers they got. I don't know the Star Ocean lore. I'm sure there's. I think they call it like symbology or something. <laughs> but I love. I love. The, um, top ten anime betrayals. <laughs> it turns out you're just having like heat stroke and hallucinating. The, the entire event was nothing. You're just crazy. So there's another, I'll show you the other event while I keep blabbing here. Um, <laughs> this is kind of funny. I haven't been listening to the story, I will admit. The, the main story, I blasted through on auto, um, partially because you can borrow really high-powered characters, which I'll show you that once we're done with this. But yeah, the game lets you borrow characters. You have a four, you have a party of four, but you can only bring three people. And what it does is it lets you quote-unquote loan a character from another person. And you can even loan whales, like, you know, plus 10 ascended max level weapons and all that crap. Uh, so that can really help carry you through the um, some of the harder things. I don't get why this character looks like a sad dog. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Her regular sprite, I, I think, is really cute. But in 3D, like, it seems like the sad dog look is what she's supposed to look like, which is kind of unfortunate. Like, the regular Miki, I think, has a really cute 2D artwork, but, like, in-game, she has more of this... Just... I mean, she looks like a sad dog, I'm sorry. I mean, she's even got the, like, dog ears, like, hair, whatever's going on. I just can't take her seriously. She also has that infernal bear, like, inner tube thing. Like, why? Why do Japanese games so often have, like, infuriating, annoying extra characters that, like, they know people are gonna hate them. Like, they knew people would hate Koro, the bear thing. Um, Sonic Team has to know that people hate Omo Chow. Uh, I don't understand why they did that. Like, bring back Tikal. I mean, she was the same thing, but, like, not awful. By the way, there's an Omo Chow zone, like, edit for um, Sonic Generations, where every, <laughs> all dialogue, or every ring is replaced with an Omo Chow. So you constantly pick up, like, dozens of Omo Chows. She apparently eats a lot and vibrates, so take that, take that as you will. I don't know if this is canon. Can anyone confirm Star Ocean lore fans? Oh my god. Chromecast. Chromecast, I'm just trying to show this stupid joke thing. Come on, Chromecast. It's like the Chromecast turns itself off. I don't know if it's too hot. Is, is that a thing? Does it overheat or something? Because, I mean, my Chromecast gets really hot, and I don't, I don't know if that's expected or not. Like, it's even warm when it's not, um... Oh, no, you're gonna miss the best part! It's not on auto, is it? I don't think... I think I accidentally tapped it. I really want to show you this part because it's hilarious. It's hilarious to me, anyway. Oh, come on. I don't know why my Chromecast is giving me so much grief. I'm sorry. I had, I had a full, like multiple hour live stream a couple of times there we go <laughs> i love this. shopkeeper michael why why is he so passionate look at him 
I think he must be a villain from the games or something, but he just looks so passionate and he's making spicy stir fry. Which I imagine, like, I just imagine that this is just what he does. He just makes spicy stir fry. He's a villain in his spare time. Like, you know, he moonlights as a villain on YouTube, but his, his real passion is spicy noodle stir fry. And he just uses his villain cybernetic powers to make the spiciest noodles that mankind has ever seen. And one day, he will take over the world with his spicy noodles. He will combine his two passions into one. If you know Star Ocean lore, please don't tell me that, that, that he does not like spicy noodles. I don't think I could stand that. Anyway. He set the world- he, he, he set everything on fire. Star Ocean is no more. The entire universe is ablaze and spicy noodle stir fry. The end. Anyway, anyway, we were just getting heat stroke again. <laughs> our, our main character has some brain problems. But this is her normal sprite. She looks fine in this. She doesn't really have the dog look. <laughs> I just love that the, the, the whole story is like... <laughs> you're having brain problems because of heat stroke. None of it was real. None of the summer characters are real. <laughs> the undersea kingdom isn't real. You just have... You just severely damaged your brain. So that's great. Anyway, let me show you how this loan thing works before I stop. I, I'm having some grief with Chromecast. By the way, this game doesn't have a loading screen, so it just fades to black for like five seconds at a time. It's kind of silly. Um, let me just do like a this thing solo. Come on. It's a little bit slow. But it's probably mostly my phone. Um, yeah, let's, let me show you a single player. So in single player, I don't have a lot of great characters. Oh. Oh, can I do this one? See, the, the, for the event, you get to borrow the limited Gashapon characters. It's actually kind of neat. It kind of lets you try them out and see what, they, what they're what they like. I think this one might let me loan a different character. Here we go. See, here's the loan thing. So, um, I've got this mutual follow here. Uh, and I can follow, I can use all of these basically whale characters. It's right, not necessarily whales. I just call them that because they're like maxed out stats. Um... Oh my god, Chromecast, please. Chromecast, why? Yeah, I, I, I can't tell. Disconnect. <laughs> I can't tell if that's the Chromecast's fault or my phone's fault. It could be either one. I, does anybody have a Pixel 2 with... So my question is, I like the Nexus 5X, I like the mid-range phones, I, I like the 5-inch phones, um, but it seems like... Everything really wants you to have the big phone. Um, would I be happy with a Pixel 2 XL? Because I'm not going to spend a thousand bucks on a new phone, alright? I'm not going to get the Pixel 3 when it comes out. Um, would I be happy for another two years, two, three years, if I got a Pixel 2 XL? Is the battery okay? Does the performance, like, notably better than what I got currently? Um... And does it have an HDMI out option? Because that's what I really need. This phone does not have a good way to get a clean HDMI signal out. So let's use this healer. Uh, I really need to follow more healers. Also, you can follow people so they show up in your loan list more often. So as you can see, Summer Miria, I've been spending all of my like stuff on one character. Because in multiplayer, you only really need one. In single player, you need three. But that's been kind of nice because that lets me, as a free-to-play you know, kind of guy... You know, and I haven't spent money. I mean, I um, I can pretty much compete in multiplayer, and multiplayer is only cooperative, not competitive. Um, but I can kind of do just fine in multiplayer because I have one character that's extremely good. If I had to make a whole set of three characters that good, I couldn't quite do that. But uh, it's really nice to be able to play with other people and um, benefit from their strength and stuff. So unfortunately, this would be the same mission. Um, but just a lot easier. <laughs> you can also use the Japanese voice. That's usually, you know, everybody always wants Japanese voice option. I mean, not everybody, but the app, that's an option. I haven't found the English voice is too bad. I don't know. Like, it's, I'm not familiar with the series, so I don't know how accurate they are. Or, you know, people tend to prefer the Japanese ones, but these ones seem just fine. 
It's not like, in Food Fantasy, I found a lot of the Japanese, I don't usually dislike English voices, honestly. I usually play in English when possible. Um, I think stuff like Disgaea and Neptunia usually gets pretty good English voices. Uh, Food Fantasy, I couldn't, uh, I did not like the, the English voices. They kind of bug me. Some of them are okay. I mean, they're not universally bad. Um, but I tend to prefer the Japanese ones just because... One of the things is just that game repeats dialogue so often. I prefer if, it, if I'm going to hear the same phrase 50,000 times. I prefer it to be in Japanese because, like, my brain doesn't really recognize that as, like, the same sentence. It's just, like, noises, you know. And the game doesn't usually lag quite this much on my phone. I mean, I don't have the best phone, like I said, but... Was the best phone, so. But, um. But, um. Yeah, the Chromecast kind of takes its toll. I'm honestly surprised it's doing kind of as well as it is. Aside from the disconnects, it's really not doing too bad. I'm actually pretty impressed overall. For a phone this old on a game like this, to stream up, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think Miria here has a pretty okay. Oh, <laughs> disconnect in the middle of battle. Fortunately, it's not a multiplayer, so I can pause and like correct that. But Ugh. why does it do that? It, it, it still says it's casting screen. It's my. Is that just Chromecast overheating? Because it doesn't have like a cooling unit. I mean, it is summer. It is kind of spicy in here. I don't know if that's why. <laughs> Jeez. Come on, Chromecast. There you go. Show them mountains. Show me them mountains. Casting screen has ended. Come on. You can do it. Just, just a few more minutes. I just want to end the video. I just wanted to end the thing. Oh crap! I think I think switching it. <laughs> I think switching apps closed my thing. Well, you, you get you get the point. It, Chromecast really doesn't want to cooperate today. Yeah, does anybody, if anybody has a Chromecast, let me know if this is kind of your standard experience or if this is like a, is it just overheating or what's the deal here? I think it'll let me suspend or resume the suspended battle though. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much Star Ocean. Um, I don't know if I'll stream like, well, I don't, <laughs> I'm kind of, streams are kind of on hiatus right now. I don't really feel like dealing with the Mediacom, Star even though my test stream seems to be fine actually right now, but I don't know if I'll show the videos for like the next event, but I just kind of wanted to do a little video of it because I tried to do that stream and I, I really hate when I you know stream, people are live, people are there, people were waiting for that stream, a couple people in my Discord were excited to see me play it, and they didn't really get to see it because of Mediacom, and that's always a shame. Yeah, let's resume. Also, I think, it is, is Eve playable in the Japanese release? Um, I like her more than I like a lot of the other characters. Um, but she's not in the summit pool, at least right now. I don't know if they added her in later. But yeah. Also, if my Chromecast is overheating, what do you even, what do you even do about that? Because, like, there's not like, oh. Oh, it goes all the way back to the beginning. No, I'm just going to leave it on auto for these. Um. But yeah, if you want to add me, my name in the game is just Sir Tap Tap, and I assume that's, like... I assume you can search by that. I haven't really played multiplayer with like people from the Discord yet. I've just been kind of grinding real quick so I can get the uh, the event thingers. But yeah, it kind of limits you how many people you can follow and you can buy more limit things, but I haven't really done that too much. Um, I think I can just clear a bunch of randoms from my list because I don't. I think I only know maybe five people to play it, so I should be able to follow them at least. And for multiplayer, you can search for a lobby. You can like make a private kind of lobby or like a mutuals only kind of thing. So you don't always have to deal with randos. And you can also specify which role you want. So you can be like, okay, I want one defender, one healer, which is a pretty good you know setup to go with. And um, obviously that makes it slower to match make. And you know people are on their phones. People got things to do. If you make it, you know, if nobody joins, you know, if people see that like, oh, you're expecting a healer, but it's like we've been waiting for like three minutes. They might leave, so... I tend not to be too picky. But for some of the harder ones, it can definitely be important to get. It's being harder ones, there was like this crystal tree extermination... Oh, for Pete's sakes, Chromecast. <laughs> I think I think I might have to uh, 
caught a video there, but uh, <laughs> keep. I, I think it must be turning off, which is weird because when I don't, when I want it to turn off, it doesn't. It doesn't stay off. It like uses power constantly, and it's quote unquote standby state. It constantly sends stuff. It's weird. Yeah, I'm, it's like a twenty-five buck device. There's only so mad you can get at it, but I really, really would prefer just a hardware cable um, that I could just record directly to. Um, does the Pixel of XL two have that? I should look it up. It was cheapish in the Google Play Store by cheapish. I mean, it was like five hundred eighty, I think. I don't know if it's a good time to buy it or not. I don't. I love the Nexus program with phones, and it's like, now they don't do that anymore. And to get your rush group gauge up faster, what you kind of want to do is cancel attacks into each other. So you do this attack, then you cancel it into the next one, by kind of lining it up. And that kind of charges your rush gauge faster. So let's try to end this with a 4 rush. Oh crap. We got a character that's already about to get KO. My, my healer here isn't that great, and she's kind of low HP, low level, even compared to my other characters. Also, the AI is not really that great. That's part of why playing multiplayer is so great. Because like usually in these kind of games, I mean, you can't control four players in real time with these kind of controls. Like, uh, so either you deal with an automatic party, which isn't really that fun. Or you get multiplayer, which in this case has been pretty great. I never really had too much trouble getting a match. And people, there's not really much opportunity for trolling. Like the worst thing you can do is just not play. And most people don't bother. Don't I haven't really seen that very often. I mean, you can put on auto, which would be rude, but even on a lot of uh, unless it's the misery two like super boss thing. Being on auto isn't really too cardinal to sing them. Oh, and the nice thing is that you can actually play. When a character is on loan, you actually get to play as them. Which one of these is the heal? Wait. Wait, does this... He is this healer attack only, or... I can't tell if this is healing. EX... Oh, right, right. She has this heal for the full party. So I really want regular Miki. I picked Muria as my, like, stock. Like, you get a free 5-star character to start. Then you get to pick which one it is. And they're like famous Star Ocean characters that don't recognize. I just picked Muria, because I like her. Uh, I kind of hope I get Miki though, just because this full party heal seems crazy good. But you can switch characters, and I really like that it lets you try. It's like, like I said, this has been oddly generous. It lets you use whales teams, it lets you try out characters that you don't have with the loan feature. And you even get rewarded when people use your character, so you want to set out your best character as your loan character. So more people kind of pick it. Oh, my... My not very good healer got KO, but it's fine. Let's just finish it up with a rush. I could probably finish... Oh my god. Chromecast. Chromecast, please. <laughs> it's never given me quite this much trouble. I think it's just hot in here today. It's... It's been a very spicy summer. Oh my gosh, I just want to show you this final attack. <laughs> I, I, I did this instead of a stream because, like, Medicom was infuriating me. Uh, I didn't want to deal with their bullcrap, and then... So, of course, of course Chromecast decides, nope, your streaming troubles aren't over yet, buddy. Oh, come on, Chromecast. I just need to show, like, one attack. Goodness. Yeah, this is why I want my freaking HDMI. I just want an HDMI out. Why is that so rare on phones? Let me record things. Nobody nobody respects people who record and stream and stuff. My, my internet, internet providers never give a crap about upload. They usually don't even list upload speeds. Uh, if you have internet, if you have upload speed problems, they don't care. They don't help you. That's just like... The people who create things are, are people too. We need, we, you know... There's nothing to download if nobody uploads things, right? I wish more people were active in creating and stuff, so, like, they couldn't ignore us. Like, I, I shouldn't have to deal with support people who have no concept of, like, upload even mattering. Or that, like, streaming to YouTube is a thing. Well, 
They all have cute little victory poses, too. So yeah, that's Star Ocean Animesis, which is a real word, by the way. It's kind of like Revengeance. It's one of those words you think is made up, but you look it up and it's not. Yes, Revengeance is a real word. I kind of want to follow, but I can't. So yeah, that's Star Ocean, and uh, it's, it's pretty cool. I've been, I've been pretty surprised so far. Um, it does have the standard Gashapon warnings, you know, it, there, it, is, it does have a strong gambling element. Um, but if you don't care who you get exactly, or maybe start in an event and you reroll for that one event character and then you're happy with that, uh, I would say the game itself, aside from, you know, the loot box element, is quite solid. And it, ugh, I know, I know, it keeps... I hate these games with this, like, they try to show you the, the updates every day. And the hide today's updates thing, like, it never works in these games. Oh, hey, I cleared a thingy. It has these, like, starter missions that give you little rewards for exploring the game. I like when games do that. Kind of lets you feel some progress and learn the game. Change unknown settings. Why did this not have this earlier, by the way? This is, this is one of the last, like, starter missions. It took me forever to find this out because, um... By default, you're loaning out this garbage-free character that the game that's gives you that's, is. like really bad um and he's like ugly and stuff and how, how do i how do i change on loan again uh i I've, i put my summer miria here on loan because she's like you know my best character um how do i do things change gear and skills oh wait i think it's in this Adding gear skills. <laughs> Chromecast! Come on! <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> that's enough Chromecast screwery for today. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. That's Star Ocean. Um, pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I can follow everybody that, like, asks, unfortunately, so good old no signal. Um, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. It just figures that that's how we end it. Good old, good old Chromecast. But if anybody has a Pixel 2, I, I really would like to hear your experience. Uh, I really would. Uh, that, that seems like it might be my best option. Some nice waterfalls, at least. So there's that. Um, the other thing I was considering is a, uh, the OnePlus. I don't like OnePlus, though. Like They seem like they should be the perfect thing, right? Like I like the mid-range. I like the $500 price point. Uh, good phone. Mostly pure Google. I love the Nexus, basically. And OnePlus seemed kind of like they were that. But they're just really... They seem very OEM-y. Like they, I looked it up, and they don't have HDMI out options for their phones. They, they don't have USB-C to HDMI. Um, they're behind with updates, which is a cardinal sin for me. Um, I really just think I, I just really like the, the pure Google thing, and I think I'm probably just gonna have to get an old Pixel instead of my, you know, getting new Nexuses. Um, but yeah, if anybody has a Pixel 2, I, or just the regular Pixel, you know, the XL I think is the one I should get. They seem to always want you to get the, the Fancy Boy Big Edition. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to like a 6-inch phone. I think my Nexus 5X is about the perfect size. But uh, I think, this, does the battery life at least last on the XL 2? Because, I mean, it is bigger, but that also means more display to light up. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, I, if people like the XL 2 and think it'll last like a couple years... I think I might get that, because my phone... The more mobile games that I tend to do videos for, the more my phone is kind of being a drag. Because recording directly from my phone is rough. Uh, recording through this Chromecast thing, it's neat conceptually, but as you can see, it, it kind of gives me grief too. But at least we get the pretty we get the pretty slideshow. The slideshow is neat. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in, everybody.